man, it's cloudy again. It's not even raining, it's just cloudy, which means it's time to tinker on gear. And today, we got a really cool build for you, a 1970 four and a quarter inch F10 Palomar Jr. reflector telescope. Check this out. <laughs> Now, in case you're new to the conversation, you like a reflector telescope, what the heck is that? Uh, I got the parts to one right here. This is a six inch mirror. What happens is it's got a little curve on it, right? It's called a parabola, bro. So as the light comes in, it's reflected back to a point. We put our secondary mirror uh, right up here, and that will reflect it to our eyepiece. Now, obviously this is missing a couple of things, missing a couple of screws, right? Like a tube. Where did the tube go? It's in the front yard, actually. Shout out to Ben. He sold me this really cool 1970 Edmund Scientific Palomar Jr. four and a quarter inch mirror on the back here, focal ratio of 10 Newtonian reflector telescope. I found this finder scope off cloudy nights, and uh, well, it's pretty darn rocking. It's great for lunar and planetary views. And it comes on this big old tripod, but I got to thinking, instead of moving it around and hurting it, wouldn't it be cool to put it on a pier? Let me show you this now. Oh boy, they don't make them like they used to. This was, uh, this is an equatorial mount. So the idea is the earth is tilted on its axis, right? And it turns around, making the stars appear to move across the sky. So if you can line a mount up with that tilt, and then you can just track it in one axis. It's kind of hard to approximate this. And then you can hook a motor up to that called a clock drive, which is what we got here. Super cool, super heavy duty, and it comes on a tripod, but, uh, well, built a little something with part from that telescope. So, got to talking to my stepdad, and he's like, well, let's go to Lowe's and buy some concrete and make a pier. We did, then he built this work of art out of aluminum, allowing me to attach the original mount to concrete and then take it inside. Pretty awesome. So, here's the pier. What do you think of this? This was actually an old telescope tube uh, that was an old concrete tube, so we re-repurposed it. Got it full of concrete and we got these stainless steel bolts here. So we gotta clean up the top. Then this is gonna bolt right on it. And the plate is gonna stay there. And then this original mount can move inside. And clean this leaves and this dirt up too. Come on now. Man, oh man, oh man, take that Crisco thing off. Look at this, folks. Now, a couple things need to be done. We need to put this clock drive back on so it'll track. How cool is this? There's a little bitty plug right here. And uh, got this new finder scope. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Bob's the man. Now all we gotta do is wait for it to get dark and line up this finder scope and stuff like that. Oh boy! All right, well, thanks for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed this build. I can't wait for it to get dark and clear or rain, one or the other is fine with me. Uh, through the tripod, it was throwing up some great views, especially of the moon, and we got a full hunter's moon tonight. So that's, well, that's gonna be really bright. Now, if this has got you itching to buy a telescope, be like, man, I need some gear. Maybe it's your first scope, or maybe you're looking for another scope. We're gonna do a video about shopping for telescopes, probably next. Uh, for now, I hope you enjoyed this crazy build, though we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching.
Yeah. <laughs>